Hello everybody, it's Cree Rama and I'm very excited. I have been working, working, working nonstop on my sea journals. I have one of my covers here and I know if you're following along here, you saw how I did my cover, which I love the cover. So this is one of the journals. I don't have, these are just pages. I'm going to today just walk through decorating some of the pages. I start with some book pages and to make, you know, you have to cut them or do something, alter them to fit into your journal. So I start with those pages and then I move to some printables that I printed. I love these printables from um, G&T Art, uh, G&T Designs. I'll put the links as always to everything that I'm using. Um, so that is my video today. And I just want to show you these, look at all of these gorgeous boho trims. I thought, oh my goodness, this that just looks like jewels in the bottom of the sea <laughs> so I'm not going to show you all these pages but just some examples of what will be in the video let me see let me just keep this here so this is one of the printables let me see I'll let me look through and see what where there's a kind of special type of page I go through, yeah, this is all the second part, doing the principles and decorating. Put a little pocket here. I love this page, so cute. So I do have more than one journal, by the way, because I have additional, um, you know, papers to put in. So this is one that I did a fold out. So I printed this, this image in the background, I printed it by accident on tissue paper. Um, so I just covered up my envelope and then I put you know, the images on top there. And then I'll tuck here and I did so much embossing, I can't even tell you. So like on this page, you can see I did some gesso on some, and then I got out my perfect pearls, and you'll see in the video I went pretty crazy. Here you can see the gesso. So I added a lot, even though these are printables, um, I added a lot to the pages. Like this is embossing powder with a stencil. I sewed every single page. <laughs> and. So here's a big pocket here and a pocket here. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Okay, so a couple pages are together here, but this is going to be my pocket page. I made two of them, so each book will have one. And these are all my um, specialty papers that I put in here. So I've got painted papers, eco dyed, all of my handmade papers except for, of course, the, the principles. And then, so this one here, I embossed her. I can't even tell you, I just was going crazy on this page. So I don't know where that's gonna fit into a signature <laughs> yet. And this is the other one. Again, I did lots of embossing here. These are this one of my Pages. I did some extra splattering with paint, but um, yeah, this is tea dyed, and then I was playing around with some mica powders for those papers. And then this is one of my book pages. So that is the other. So you can see here all these gorgeous trims. Let me see if there's any. So I, I do this, I just put, this is just a page, no pockets or anything fancy. I just really liked this part in the book. So I had to cut the pages and I made a hinge 
and made my own little page. I have a lot of different, here's another, this is a, a dyed splattered painted paper. This is another one, just beautiful colors. Another one here. So as you can see, oh, here's some eco dyed papers here. Let's see. And I think I'm going to leave these eco dyed papers because it will give the person either you can write on these or decorate how you know however you want so I think I'm just going to leave these plus they're just so beautiful um and also so I decided I'm, I have two journals and I love these so much I decided I'm going to uh, when I'm finished I'm going to do flip throughs of both of them and put them up for sale and see which one goes first and then I'll keep the other one because I just can't just I won't be able to decide another eco dyed paper just beautiful they're gonna be so pretty in here right to add these and then here's another one like I said these are just the kind of pages I did a little tuck here pages that I did but didn't put together into signatures yet and these are perfect for here because it looks like an underwater scene. And these, I did a belly band. I had all these done from one of my previous videos. So I got to use those. Cut this little thread from the inside off here. More beautiful paper. Another paper, I made these when I was doing circus and it feels really cool because it's dyed. I dyed the papers first and then I went over it with these different colored stamps and because it is the Distress Oxide, which you know, it kind of, um, it kind of leaves a little residue. So then I went over with a layer of Mod Podge. So these just have a really cool feel. And of course, this is one of my favorite pockets that I made with the cardboard. So it's just on that one side. I left this side blank. Another one of the dyed papers. So you'll see multiples in here like this. That This is the second one so that I'll have one for each book. This just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Those colors and the trim. So pretty. Oh, this is one of the book pages. This was one of my favorite images. And I just had to turn that in. So this is a, a pocket here. And I do have my previous video talking about pages. I, I made some of these out of this um, National Geographic photography book. It's a beautiful book. And that is it. Well, I say that is it, but this has been keeping me very, very busy. <laughs> so look at these beauties. This is one of my favorite parts of a junk journal is all the goodies that hang out of you know the edges of the pages so i can't wait to get the signatures in i can i'm making some dangles to put on here i'm so excited this is definitely going to be my favorite journal i've made so far um oh and i do also have some random pages here that i will show i have this this is somebody had sent me it's really old uh, music page and perfect storm at sea. I have some rusted papers. This is really nice thick paper. Just some like, you know, random pieces. Got some rice paper. Some book pages. Yep. And I have some tracing paper that I splattered. This is one I made out of a map. And here's another one of my 
pocket pages that I made out of the book. Oh, this is a really old, 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 old music page. This was the back of a book. Um, and I didn't even do anything to tear here. It was already done. I just sewed around it to help protect it a bit. And what do I have here? This is a part of a bag and I just thought it was kind of cool. I just saved it from when I was eco dyeing and dyeing papers. Envelope page, oh, but I did my book page. Yes, yeah, so I've got a couple. Oh, and then I had this image that I want to say, Bandy Beauty, did you send this to me maybe? I'm thinking you because it's re very retro. It was a huge, like a magazine page and it was very, very thin. So I folded it in half. I just took this section. I thought this would be a great center of the signature. And on the back here, I just backed it with, again, just some of the paper from when I was doing my dyeing process that I thought it would be good to write on. And this is a, you know, when cardboard gets wet in the top layer will peel off, but you can still see the ridges from the under layers. So that's what happened here. And I thought that's kind of cool. It'd be good to write on. You've got the lines. So that's what I have here. And we'll see where this goes then. This is the exciting part, right? Putting everything together and then all the little dangles and things that go on so this is the other cover so they're very similar here so that is it and I will see you next time hopefully with a flip through thanks for watching so here I am with my big pages from my one book and you can see this was a page here the giant clam now this page i actually like both sides of it i like the colors so i might just fold this one you know this way because it's pretty much this is a sheet of paper that i dyed so you can see it's pretty much the same size. So that takes care of that. Now, here I've got the lobster. I'm not really liking the millipede there. And then I have the sea urchin. Oh, and I have the shark whale shark and porcupine fish okay so these are all ocean things here so I could cut this to fit in a page and I think so maybe I will cut them because I want them to go the right way so these two, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut them. I'm going to see if I can combine them together, maybe. So here I am starting off. Um, I'm just cutting these pages and I'm going to just hinge them and turn it into a page that will fit into my journal. And for the rest of this video, I kind of go crazy from one thing to another. Um, so I'm just going to play some music and just go through the process of, um, first of all, doing the book pages and the pages that I have to alter. And then I move on to decorating and altering some of the printable pages that I did. And just so want to play some music and I hope you enjoy watching the process. And also, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you didn't already, hit the notification bell. And then you will see when I get new content up. I'm really, really excited to do the flip through for these journals.